I bring you two minutes in the Olive Garden. Today's text, Exodus chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. But Moses said, pardon your servants, Lord. Please send someone else. This is what should make you know that despite the age of Moses, about 80 years thereabout, at the time, his faith level was low. We all grow in the faith and it takes time. The Lord tells Moses that he would help him speak, yet he still does not trust the Lord enough to open his heart for the Lord to teach him or for the Lord to even touch his lips. In the presence of God, he saw fire. He witnessed the presence of the angel and heard the Lord speak with his raw voice. Yet despite the miracles performed in his very presence, he could not believe that God could solve his stammering issue. So guess what? Because of this, despite all of Moses' anointing and power, he remained a stammerer, an inarticulate person throughout his life. This was his moment of healing. Yet he let this opportunity go by and he told the Lord to find someone else. We all have our weaknesses. Someone wishes he was taller than he was. Someone wishes she had a first king, like a mixed race. Someone wishes he could play the piano like Mozart. Someone wishes she could sing like Whitney Houston. Yet, she has an embarrassing, pimpishite, kabuchilistic voice and changes keys without approval from even God. She starts singing in F and within 20 seconds, she has shifted through four minor keys. Then an opportunity comes for God to touch such a person so she can start singing like Jennifer Hudson and she says, no, God, choose someone else. Fear can make you lose your miracle. Timidity can rob your miracle from you. When God presents you with an opportunity, take it. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.